Hey YouTube and welcome to L-FX Productions and the first ever tutorial I have done. The tutorial I'm going to be doing today is for a video I uploaded a few months ago titled Decoder. Here's what we're going to be creating. The first step is to open After Effects and create a new composition. I've set mine to custom 1920 by 1080 and locked the aspect ratio. I've used square pixels, frame rate of 24 and a duration of 10 seconds. I'm going to set the background colour to white so the effect is more noticeable. Rename the composition background. Next, add text. You can either click the text icon and type in your text or click layer, new, text. Type in the text you want on the video. I am then going to change the font to Bank Gothic MD BT. I'll link a download for the font in the description box. Next, change the font size to suit your video. Now that we have our text layer, we can start to add effects to it. I'm going to change the colour of my text to the colour red, but any colour will do. I'm then going to add the glow. To get the glow style, click Effect, Stylize, Glow. In the settings of glow, change the glow colours to A and B colours, and you can now select colour A and colour B. Within the glow settings, I change the glow radius to 147, and the glow intensity to 1.8. Also change glow based on to alpha channel. Now to add the decoder effect. On the right hand side of After Effects there is the effects and presets search bar. I use this to search for decoder which is the effect we're going to use. When it's added on and we play it back the first part of the video is done. To create the sparkle behind the text you need to create a new composition with all the same settings. Background colour doesn't matter as I'll remove this. Change the name of the composition to spark. When the composition is open click transparency grid as shown. Within that composition create a new solid layer. Keep size is the same but colour doesn't matter. After you have added the solid layer, go to the effects and presets search and type in advanced lightning. Drag this onto the layer. Within the settings change the lightning type to strike. You are then able to move the front and end of the strike around for your video. Within the settings I change the glow opacity to 76%. To add more of a distorted look to the strike I use the liquify which can be found under effect distort liquify. This allowed me to liquefy the strike to make it more smooth and edged out. Now that we have our text and spark, create a final composition of all the same settings and name it final composition. Next you can add in the background composition and the spark composition. Ensure the transparency grid is turned off. As you can notice the spark isn't animated. To animate the spark go back into the spark composition and double click the spark. This will allow you to animate the path. For my video I'm going to move the strike off the screen and animate it to move back onto the screen but halfway. When I move the strike I'll keyframe the origin and direction to create the animated spark. I'm then going to duplicate the layer and animate it to come on the screen from the left. I duplicated both layers again to add a boldness to the sparks when they collided. If I return back to the main comp and play it back, the sparks are now animated. I can then reposition the text over the spark to create the final video. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did and comment any future videos you would like to see. Click the subscribe button to see more videos and like the Facebook page. See you next week for a new video on L-FX Productions. Thanks for watching.